I recently hit over 100k followers on my Instagram page. It's been a 7 year journey and hitting this milestone has been a dream come true for me. To celebrate, I'm remaking one of the first recipes I ever posted and I also share a bit about my journey and what I think helped me grow my page. It all started when I began blogging about the meals I cooked for my family. Back then, Instagram was just a simple photo sharing app and as a first time mom and an architect working long hours, Instagram was much easier to manage than a blog. So it became my platform of choice. Over these seven years, a lot has changed. We welcomed another daughter and I stepped away from my architecture career, a decision hugely influenced by my growing Instagram page. Since then, I collaborated with brands, developed recipes for others, taken on photography gigs, and even launched an online cooking course. Moving away from the traditional career path freed me from confining myself into a role. I no longer identify myself with one profession. Now I see myself as just me. Now I know a lot of you might be curious about how to grow your own Instagram pages. For the longest time, my follower account was stuck between 20k to 30k. But then something clicked and I shot up to 109k in the last 8 months. Here's the key takeaway. Be repetitive. I realized I needed to maintain a consistent style after reading The Power of Habit last summer. To resonate with viewers who only glance at my posts occasionally, it was crucial to have a recognizable and repetitive style. I went back, analyzed my videos, and found a format that performed well. Initially, my approach attracted little attention, but I knew better than to expect immediate results. I kept at it, and by September, my consistency paid off big time. I had my first popular post that gained me thousands of new followers. Then I had another one, then another. Most of my popular videos feature a similar setup. It starts with me behind the counter, it has a similar pacing, and even the topic is pretty consistent. Homemade cake pops, homemade crackers, homemade flatbread. I don't think the niche itself is that important. There is an audience for almost any topic. You just gotta be very repetitive. And it's just easier to create repetitive content when the topic flows with your lifestyle. Ironically, this focus on repetition has brought me here to YouTube. Long form content is probably a better place to explore more diverse content. So whether you follow me over from Instagram or just stumbled upon this video, I hope you stick around. There's a lot more to come. Talk to you soon.